Welcome to this edition of On Screen with D. Harris, coming full speed ahead from 2018 Piston Power Show right here in Cleveland, Ohio. I'm here with Austin, the owner of this lovely 2001 Ford F-250. Now I gotta ask you, man, this thing is, this thing is a monster. Monster truck. Yeah. So, how long did it take you to put this together? Uh, I got about nine, eight, nine months in the lift. Uh, we custom fabbed it all. I had a company in Florida send me all the brackets. They CNC'd them, and uh, when we got them, we welded everything together, put it all in place on the frame. Um, we made all the four-link bars. We made all that ourselves and basically fabbed it from there. Okay, so what, what, what are all the mods that like make you be like, yeah, I've really outdone myself this time? <laughs> um, you know, there's not a whole lot of older trucks running around that are a coil over four length suspension on them. That's where I kind of wanted to change it up. I wanted to go airbags. Uh, best friend of mine, he's got a he's got a same truck I got, and he beat me to it. He did an airbag four link on his. So I had to go with the coil over and kind of change it up a little bit. So bringing it into you know different shows and stuff, you don't ever you know you don't see a whole hell of a lot of them. So so getting to see it is uh, you know something a little different. Well, you know, with his automotive life, we always say okay when we get to a certain point, we're like okay, I'm done. But well, we know that, but you're never done. Never so, done. so what's next, my man? Uh, next is probably going to be we're going to do a custom interior on it. Um, I want to rip everything out and start from scratch on the inside. I want to do some exterior audio on it. You know, make some noise and kind of draw some more attention to it. As if being 10 feet tall doesn't draw enough attention. <laughs> I'm here with Steve Mendenhall, the owner of this nice, sexy 68 Chevy Camaro. Tell us about your build, man. Uh, the whole build was about an eight month long process with 4,800 man hours. Uh, we wanted to do something to a first gen Camaro that had not been done before. So we went ahead and chopped it, sectioned it, and channeled it. So we took nine inches out of a total height of a stock Camaro. We put it on uh, Ride Tech shock waves airbags so we are actually 36 inches to the roof when the car is slammed 39 and a half at right height all right that's sick so when did you originally start putting this together this car started getting built in january of 2015 as a pro street back half car that the plan changed on in march so we could take it to the sema show in las vegas and that's when the craziness of the build came about well, with that craziness, you know we're never done when it comes to working on cars. What's next, my man? Well, I'm going to tell you this one is done, and we're going to come out with a, uh, I'm not going to say too much about it. It's going to be a 1970 Chevy Nova, and we should be rolling that out hopefully somewhere around March of 19. Okay, I'm here with Sean with Intellitronics. Now these guys make some sick custom custom gauges for your vehicles. Uh, tell us about your products. Well, 
A little bit about the company and the products. We are located in East Lake, Ohio. Everything we do make is all American made. We've got a factory right there in East Lake. We've got our own pick and place machines, our own hand solderers, and we do everything internally. We do electrical work inside, software work, mechanical work, so we can keep costs down as much as possible. If you really want to know what Intellitronics is, we, we really are, our core competence is that we're electrical engineers that are car enthusiasts. So, and we like to make stuff that we think is really cool that we'd like to see in our own cars. A lot of times we make direct drop-in replacements, but uh, you know, there's a lot of gauge companies out there and the key is to make yourself stand out and look different. With our aesthetic look, and that's how I really talk about our company a lot, because it's a look you don't find uh, anywhere else. This gives it a whole new pop to where maybe some people don't take a lot of consideration into their gauges, but it is a flashy part of the car. And the idea is to make the gauges uh, equal the amount of hard work people put on the outside in the motors, you know, in the interior, and just make something that they'd be proud of as well. And being that it is all American made, we're able to keep our prices com com completely uh, affordable for everyone. You know, our, probably our most expensive product's about $800, and our custom direct drop-in ga gauges are only $400. How did the vision for Intellitronics begin? Uh, truth be told, uh, the owner of our company is a uh, Corvette guy. I believe he's probably got about four or five of them. And back in 1982, he had a brand new 1982 Corvette, and he wanted to make digital gauges for it, so he made it himself. And he took it to a car show. One thing led to another where people saw these digital gauges, and we're off and running making gauges for Corvettes, turned into doing it for Camaros, Firebirds, Chevy trucks. Now we make them for Mustangs, Fords, Jeeps, um, not enough time in the day to do everything, but that's kind of how everything kind of kicked off. Was just he wanted to, he wanted something for his own personal vehicle, so he made it. And then from there, you know, everyone else came calling. Now, if somebody wants to contact you guys and have some work done on their gauges, how can they find you or your social media, phone numbers, contacts, things sure. like that? We can always check us out on uh, on Facebook, uh, Teletronics, and um, our website, Teletronics.com. You can contact support or uh, sales, which you'd probably end up talking to me direct, or you can just call into the main line of 440-359-7200, extension 206. All right, man, thanks a lot. I'm here with Tim Cornett, the owner of this beautiful Chevy Bel Air. Tell us about your build. Oh, it's a 1962 Chevy Bel Air. Actually, the car was originally built in uh, 1999 by a company called Pro Rides out of Pittsburgh. At the time, it was a pro-streeted car, um, and I, I bought that shortly after the build from them and kept it for a long time, but I wanted a different look. I wanted more of a pro-touring look getting away from the pro street so about a year and a half uh, ago I met the folks from uh, Pro Comp Custom and this is how it turned out. I actually went in just wanting to change the wheels and put air ride but that's the way these projects go one thing leads to another a year and a half later here it is. Uh, this is awesome now how long did it actually take you to get everything to the point where you was like okay I'm done. <laughs> actually we're at that point now because we were talking about about it a, uh, a couple hours ago and he was talking about doing some more things to the exhaust but all kidding aside we're really done now it took about a year and a half um, still have a few little tunes to put on it before the show season starts but it's pretty much it's 99 percent done now I'm standing here with Chris Blasius. Now this guy has recreated an 80s classic, Kit from Knight Rider, everybody's favorite Trans Am. 
So what was your inspiration into recreating a 80s classic? Sure. I mean, I'm a product of the 80s, so I was born in 1982, actually two months after the first episode of Knight Rider. And I grew up on reruns, so basically my I had the little toy car. I mean, that was like my main toy, that and like Ninja Turtle stuff. But I mean, I would drive that car all around the living room watching reruns of Knight Rider. And I even told my parents, I'm like, when I grow up, I want a Pontiac Trans Am. They're like, you'll grow out of it. But I'm like, I want the real Knight Rider. So look at me, I'm 35 years old now and I actually have the car from Knight Rider. How long did it take you to recreate this thing? All right, so I mean, I've been researching it for probably five-ish years, but I have 2,000 hours built into the actual project itself and that was over about two and a half, three years. Okay, so with, with the, wow, <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> and with the completion of that, I mean, is there any other projects or any other vehicles that you've been working on? So I just finally got him actually voice activated. That was the big thing. So you can actually ask him questions and he'll respond to you. So that has been the project for the last year. Um, lately, I think the next project's gonna be the Fall Guy truck. I don't know if you remember Fall Guy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna, that's gonna be my next thing. So I just want a bunch of movie cars seen in my garage. If anyone wants to see like any of your other adventures or your, any of your other builds, how can I get in contact with you, like on your social media, yeah. YouTube channels, any of that stuff? So I have a YouTube. It's um, YouTube forward slash Knight Rider 1982. I usually update about two times a week where I take kit to different things and do fun stuff, freak people out with it. So that's the ba basically the main way to get a hold of me. Thank you for watching this edition of On Screen with D. Harris from a 2018 Piston Power Autorama. Be sure to like the D. Harris brand on Facebook and YouTube for future episodes of On Screen with D. Harris, the Geek Talk podcast, as well as the Weekend Wrestling and our upcoming WrestleMania podcast. Also, be sure to check out Team Prodigy 216 on Facebook. I've been D. Harris. Thanks again for watching.